Hey everyone, Will the Watch Clicker here, and welcome back to the studio. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Fair Jackson Chronograph. This is one of the three available colorways in their refreshed Chrono Classic line. Fair had a similar line of chronographs a few years ago, including the Cobb, which was a watch I owned back in 2020. The new models feature a slightly redesigned case to accommodate a new movement, but this is largely the same as the previous versions. Where the difference comes in is the dial colors available. Salmon and maroon dial options are available, but we've got the blue dial in today. Let's jump in and give the Jackson Chronograph a closer look. There isn't a watch brand out there that uses color the way Fairer does. Every one of their watches has a unique color combination that breathes life into their watches in a way that allows them to take a simple design and elevate it. Fair also has one of the most comfortable chronographs available today with their Chrono Classic, and when combined with the fun and exciting colors, you have a knockout. Even though the Jackson is the most mainstream color combination of the lineup, it still finds ways to showcase its color. The Jackson Chronograph comes in at 39 millimeters wide, 45 millimeters lug to lug, and at 13.2 millimeters thick and 12.5 millimeters wrist to crystal, the dimensions for this automatic chronograph are fantastically wearable. The dimensions are nearly identical to their last iterations of automatic chronos and was one of the reasons why I love the Cobb so much. Some watches with a 39 millimeter diameter and short lug to lugs can feel stubby on the wrist but the Jackson wears like a dream. Even though it still wears relatively true to its case height, it doesn't feel tall on the wrist. If you're comfortable wearing any dive watch around 13 millimeters, this watch will feel similar and maybe even a touch slimmer. The Jackson has a few tricks up its sleeve to make it feel comfortable on the wrist and remove any slab sidedness that many automatic chronographs can have. The sides of the case have a recessed portion that is bead blasted with a polished surround. This breaks up the case lines and creates a visual interest that brands like Tudor could learn from. If you have a thick watch, design elements like this can dramatically change the perceived thickness of the watch. Powering the Jackson is a movement that I am totally going to butcher the pronunciation of. The Dubois Dupraz DD2022 is a modular movement that uses a Salita SW300 as a base. Those of you with keen eyes may have noticed the movement stamped with SW300 on it. The chronograph module is, for lack of a better term, bolted on to the top of the timekeeping movement. The movement also has an offset rod system, which allows the crown to sit level with the pushers. The SW300 itself is a relatively thin movement, which helps the Jackson keep the fat off. This movement gives the watch a straightforward dial layout with two subdials. The subdial on the right is a running second subdial, and the one on the left is a 30 minute totalizer. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. This type of layout is clean, symmetrical, and incredibly useful for real world use. In the beginning of this review, I talked about Fair's use of color. The Jackson is by far the most subdued of the three dial variations offered, but the design is still beautifully executed. The dark blue dial is adorned with applied markers and a crosshatch pattern. This pattern is subtle enough that it can fade away and become barely noticeable at times. The subdials are dark blue with coordinating hands. The running seconds hand is dark blue and stands on its own. The totalizer hand is a lighter blue and matches with the central chronograph hand. This creates a simple visual identification to know that these two hands are tied to the chronograph. I've had a few chronographs come through for review in the past several months and I keep finding each one better than the last. However, the Jackson is the only one that makes me want to pull out my wallet right this instant. What's even more astounding is that I'm not a huge fan of pattern dials, and I still love this watch. The subtlety of the blue color scheme combined with the clean dial layout gives you a chronograph that is easy to wear, won't draw attention, but is still a fun talking point. We've been getting more aviation-inspired chronographs lately, and the Jackson gives us a much needed breath of fresh air. Thanks for watching the video review of the Fair Jackson. For more reviews, head over to watchclicker.com. If you enjoyed this video, 
please subscribe.